So this is mountain laurel, sometimes called uh, calico bush, uh, sometimes called spoonwood because the, uh, it forms knotty type of uh, branches and uh, it, it, we are useful for shaping into spoons. The scientific name is uh, Calmia latifolia, named after a uh, botanist, Peter Kalm. Um, this is a neat little plant. Um, it, 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 what, uh, what we notice, of course, now is the beautiful blooms on them. I think even the buds are just beautiful, even in bud, but they're really noticeable this time of year. It's an evergreen um, shrub. Uh, it can get into the size of a small tree, but it's usually a shrub size. You're looking at something about 15 feet tall or so. And it's, uh, again, in the Ericaceae or Heath family, it can grow in the shade, um, although it blooms much better if it gets some sunlight like this guy's doing. And, um, you, it's evergreen, so it has to have a way of protecting itself from herbivores, especially in winter. So the leaves are slightly toxic. Um, they're not very tasty to stuff. Now, having said that, um, a little bit, you know, is okay, I guess. And so deer do nibble on it. Um, and if there's too many deer and there's nothing else green to eat, that can be a problem for these things. But beautiful plants. Um, this is not one that, uh, because, it's, because it's poisonous, this is not one where you want the bees to take the uh, take the po the pollen and nectar back because I believe it makes the pollen and uh, it makes the honey that they make no longer all that useful but it's a pretty neat little plant and again it's got an interesting way of um, of ensuring that it gets pollination all of the little um, stamens in there I, I guess they're called the little pollen bearing um, parts of it are are basically locked into the sides in little pockets and um, they're spring-loaded, so when a bee or something comes in and lands on it, um, it can, it, you know, it shoots the, the little, um, it, it shoots the, the, these little pieces out, landing on top of the bee and land, putting pollen on its back, and that's how it gets pollinated. A neat little plant of, of, uh, of hillsides and, and so forth, when it's, when it's in bloom, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, here we have several in bloom right here in, in some fairly deep shade. Mountain laurel, what a great, great little woodland shrub. Evergreen.